Hello everyone, my name is Tisak Kadam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see the second episode of our newly launched series, which is Agentic Process Automation. Yes, you heard me right. So in last video, we saw how to create your first agentic process automation. And in this video, we will build our second agentic process automation. Again, using UiPath's Autopilot for everyone. So currently, we don't have Agent Builder launched yet, but using UiPath's Assistant and the new technology, which is UiPath's Autopilot for everyone, we can create agentic process automation. We have seen that already in our previous video. And in this video, let's create a robot for HR. So without wasting time, let's get started. So what I have here is I have five different PDFs. So let's look at the first one. So this is a UI developer job description. So all HR has to do is just create a job description for what they're actually looking for in the candidate. Then there is a job description for RPA developer. And I have three resumes. So I have a resume of Alex, uh, who is a RPA developer experience with three years hands-on experience of designing, developing, deploying robotic process automation. I have Michael, who is an ETL developer. And I have Samantha, who is a UI developer with four years of experience. Now, usually what happens is it's a very difficult task for our HRs to actually go through resume, understand, and perform the job description matching with the resume and decide if this candidate is perfectly fit for this particular job description or no. And beyond that, there's another process, which is sending interview invitation for this particular candidate. Now let's simplify the job of HR. What we have to do is we will use a new method here, which is called as REG. Yes, you heard me right. Retrieval Augmented Generation. So we will use the new feature of LLM, which is a REG. Obviously, UiPath also has it. So let's go back to UiPath. Now I'm on Orchestral Cloud. Let's go to our orchestrator. Uh, autopilot folder, and I will quickly create a storage bucket, which is with the name of HR job description. What I do is I upload a document of PDF here for both the job descriptions, RPA developer and UI developer. Now, once you have your job descriptions as a knowledge base uploaded here in the storage bucket, we will navigate to UiPath's admin page, which is here on the admin. Now on the admin page, we will navigate to UiPath's AI trust layer on the context grounding. So for using REG, we will use UiPath's context grounding feature, which is a feature which allows you to create index and then use that index as a context grounding during the communication with LLM model, which is amazing, right? So all you have to do is just select your tenant, select the folder and create an index. So I currently have an index called job description. All you have to do to create an index is just click on add new, give it a name, description, for example, let's say uh, JD, description as HR, storage bucket, select your folder autopilot and select the storage bucket where you have actually stored your data. And that's all. And you can select the file type as well. So I have selected PDF here. You can select it. Uh, if you have multiple types of files, you can just select all, right? And if you have a specific file type, you can just select PDF. That's all. And just click on sync now. With this, now you have created an index for LLM model, okay, for UI paths, uh, you know, autopilot for assistant to understand that we will use this index, but we still have to link it with our autopilot for everyone. So to link it, you just have to navigate to autopilot for everyone. Click on the tenant that you want to use. Uh, inside that's okay. Just go to context rounding. And as you can see, I have linked it here. To link it, you just have to click on enable index, select the orchestrator folder, select the index that you just created and give it a little bit of description. So what I have given description as this storage bucket contains a collection of job description used as a reference material. It provides contextual data to enhance the quality, relevance of a context content generated by a retrieval augmented generation system. That's all right. Now with that, I linked my context grounding with my autopilot for everyone. Then let's go to UI path. We have built a small robot, which is again, it's almost same as the robot which we built yesterday uh, for our previous video. So robot is to generate a professional email with AI and salutation is hello, dear applicant. Uh, we have sign off as HR team, write an interview notation for the date and time. Now let's go to argument. Here I have four arguments. So I have an email ID, I have name, I have date and I have time, which I'm expecting my LLM model to pick up automatically. That is my autopilot for everyone and using UiPath's 
agentic process automation, we will fill these details automatically using the agents. Okay, now let's see how we can do that. Also, we'll use a pattern matching just to get the email ID clear. And then we will send an email via our Gmail connection. And here we will just pass the email and we will pass the subject as interview invitation and the body, which is generated as an output of the content generation. Sorry, this is not a content generation. This is generate email activity. Okay. Now with this simple, small robot and four arguments, what we will do is we will publish this robot to the autopilot folder. As you can see, I'm currently linked with a folder called autopilot here at the bottom, right? So I will publish it. Now let's go back to our autopilot folder. In the automations, we will create a new process. So I have created here a process already with the name of interview invitation. You'll create a new process and you'll make sure that the new process is reflected here. Now, first we linked the storage bucket with our autopilot for everyone. Now we have to link this process also with autopilot for everyone. So let's go back here uh, and go to automation properties, click on the folder autopilot and select the process, which is interview invitation. As you can see, I have linked it already. And I have mentioned that this is a robot which sends interview invitation to applicants based on the selection. Awesome. Amazing. Now we have all these four arguments here. We will save the changes and we are good to go. Let's go back to our UiPath assistant. Now it is as easy for our HR as just type here, verify or check if the attached resume is fit for RPA developer role. If it, if the person uh, fits the role, send interview invitation for 10th February 25 at 4 p.m. SGT. Okay. We just gave basic, basic detail and I will attach the Alexis resume, which is the RP developer, right? Now I attached Alexis resume here. Now all HR has to do is just type this. Okay. Enter. And that's all. Now look at the magic. So here our agentic process automation will analyze the document first, which is the resume, which is using the UiPath intelligent document processing and backend to understand the document automatically. After analyzing document, it's searching the RP developer dot PDF which is exactly the job description, which we have stored in the storage bucket. And you see, thank you for providing the resume for the requirements of job RP developer. I have analyzed the both resume and job description. I can confirm that Alexis appear to be a good fit, good fit for RP developer position. And here's the brief analysis. So autopilot for everyone has done the brief analysis for us automatically on behalf of us using context grounding. So it has talked about Alex has a three years of hands-on experience. With RP developer, two years of experience requirement, education, he has a Bachelor of Computer Science in backend, technical skills, certifications, and everything matches. Also, the source is attached here, which is the context grounding source that it has used rpdeveloper.pdf to analyze. And <clears throat> we also mentioned that we want to schedule interview for 10th of February at 4 p.m. So our automated for everyone, which is the AI agent, has automatically understood captured email ID from the resume, name from the resume, date and time from our prompt, which is amazing, isn't it? Now let's just run. Now it's running the interview invitation robot to send an invitation of interview to the appropriate person. And that's all. That's it. So HR is now free of the task to analyze the resume, go through it, verify if it matches the job description or no, all of it is done by the AI agent for us. And you can see the great news. I have successfully sent invitation to Alex, candidate name, email ID, interview date, and time. And let's go to the email. As you can see, there's an email generated here as an interview invitation to Alex, along with the proper email that, hello, dear applicant, we are delighted to extend to you an invitation to participate in the interview with our esteemed organization. And as you can see, the date and time has been mentioned perfectly and by the team, HR and that's all. I just have to hit on send and done. Now let's look at another example. So we'll select the resume of Samantha, who is UI developer. Now let's mention the same. Uh, check if 
this resume is good fit for UI developer requirement. If yes, invite her for interview at 5 p.m. on 2nd Feb. So this time I changed my prompt. Let's see with the change of prompt, does it still understand? Is my AI agent smart enough to understand this? It's thinking, it's analyzing the document. So it's going through the document of Samantha using UiPath's document understanding in backend, as you can see here. And once it analyzes the document, then it will pick up automatically the UI developer PDF from my, yes, correct, context grounding. So it's using a combination of context grounding and now you can see I have analyzed Samantha's resume and it looks fit for the job and that's all, right? Now, it will ask me to trigger the robot, which is correct exactly on second of, <clears throat> did we say? For 5 p.m. on 2nd Feb, okay? Which is good, so let's go. And that's all, right? The email is now sent to her. You see? It's as easy and as fast as HR can simply just go through the resumes and send it to the appropriate person and invite to the interview as well. Very easy, right? Now let's attach resume, which is which does not have any experience of UI developer or RP developer. Michael's resume. And I'll say, check if this resume is fit for any role which is available in our company. If yes, send interview invitation for 5th June 2025 at 1 a.m., 1 p.m. Okay, sorry for the typo. So this time I have changed my prompt and I have two job descriptions only, which is either RP developer or UI developer. Now it's going through Michael's job description, sorry, Michael's resume, and it will check if it fits any of the role. So it's now searching rpdeveloper.pdf. Now this is using context rounding. Now it's searching UI developer.pdf. You see, it went from one document to other document to check if any of the index actually matches. Now, based on the resume which we provided, as you can see, it says that I've analyzed Michael's resume compared to the job requirement we have. Okay. And what it says, based on his skills and experience, Michael appeared to be a good fit for ETL developer position, which aligns with the experience of Azure Data Factory. Here's a brief. And then based on RP developer, it's sending the interview notation. But yes, what we have here, we can see that it's not fitting any interview skills, which is the ETA developer position, which we don't have currently, right? So we don't have this person as a fit for RPA developer, it's based on ETL developer. So I will not send the resume, I will just cancel it. I will not send interview invitation. And as you can see, it's as easy as that for HR to just go through all the resumes and understand and using the mix of context grounding and our process automation, we have created an agentic process automation in a new way. I hope you loved this video and you can implement this same as what we have developed, right? In our previous video, I have already attached the workflow on the GitHub, so you can download it from there. You can check it in the chat, uh, sorry, description of the video, or in the chat, I have mentioned there in the comment and I have pinned the comment. I hope you loved this second video, and if you liked it, let me know what are the other use cases that you can think about, and happy automation.